Hello fellow R2 builders, this is Steve Mays or Mazer Chief on astromag.net and I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to put together your new dome drive if you've got one from uh, Darren. So just to go through the parts and some of the things that you're going to need, <clears throat> you're going to need an Allen wrench, um, you can also use your, your uh, electric screwdriver, um, you've got a, you're going to need some sandpaper, and then you've got all the parts that come as a part of your uh, dome drive when you buy one. You've got the motor itself uh, that you will have to uh, buy on your own. Um, you've got the mounting system. This piece right here will help mount it to your uh, frame. This piece right here will eventually be connected to the motor itself. Um, you've got three bearings right here that will keep everything running smoothly. Obviously you've got the wheel with the rubber around it. Uh, you've got your electrical connectors right here and then four bolts that we're going to use and actually replace on this motor. If you start with the motor here what you're going to see is that there are four black bolts right here that need to be taken out and really those are not going to be used um, in our dome drive system. The first thing that I want to show you and the first issue that you really should start with is that if you take your wheel and you take the motor itself and you try to fit the wheel onto the shaft it's not going to go. Um, I have separated, used my Allen wrench and separated the wheel a little bit. This mounting system is pretty neat. It'll lock. Once you get the wheel on the shaft itself you screw these in and it'll lock this wheel right on the shaft without any issues. But at this point in time, the hole itself that is in the wheel does not quite fit the shaft. The shaft is just a little bit too big. So we're going to start off, I'm going to move some things around here so that I don't get metal shavings in anything. But just take a piece of sandpaper. I've got a piece of uh, 180. We take that and just take a piece of it and put it on the shaft and evenly just sand the shaft down. And you don't have to do it a ton, but make sure that you're sanding things evenly and periodically just try to put it on. So if I try to slide this on, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it's starting to go a little bit further. So I'm going to continue to sand. This is definitely something that needs to be evenly done. And you can see how this system works. So I'm not going to sit here and show you the entire process. But I'll try one more fit. But you can see that you just every once in a while sand for a little bit and then try it again. And then sand for a little bit and try it again. And sand for a little bit and try it again. And before you know it, it'll slide right on and then you're ready to move on in the process. Once you've got the shaft sanded down and your wheel fits right onto the shaft, you'll see how it slides right on. Okay, perfect. It's ready to be mounted um, once you get the motor and the mounting system all in place. So that's what we're going to work on next. One of the things that you need to notice is that the shaft, when you get your motor, the shaft and the electrical plug that you need to use are on the same side. And so we don't want that. We want to change things around so that the shaft here is sticking out of this side. And all you have to do, I'm just going to take my electric screwdriver, we're going to unscrew these four black bolts and the entire system will be able to, we will be able to take apart. Be very careful when you take these off because if you're not careful, if you're not careful when you take these off, the system will fall apart on you and you don't want you don't want the parts falling apart. Plus there's grease within there and if you're not careful all that grease will get all over your parts and your hands and it'll get all over your table. So here we go. Once I remove that last bolt, this very easily, make some room here, this very easily will come apart. This bottom piece will come off right there. This top piece will come off and as you can see the gear system comes right out as well. 
So now we're ready to put this back together. And when we put it back together, we're going to put all of these other parts with it. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. And now the bottom piece of your motor that we took off needs to be on the same side as the plug. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in, just like that. And by the way, the holes that these put, the, the, the mounting holes here to hold the system together, the two on this side are closer together than the two on this side, so you really can't put this part in the wrong direction. <clears throat> so that shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to take my gear, fit it back in. I'm already getting grease on things. And now I've got the top piece, which also has a little, um, a couple of washers in there, so make sure that you don't lose those washers. And this goes back together and fits together just like that. Now, for now, I'm not going to put these bolts back in. In fact, technically, we are finished with these bolts, the ones that were originally held the motor together. So these can be set off to the side, but just be very careful because this could still fall apart. So wherever you put it, make sure you put it in a place where it's not going to fall apart on itself so that you have a little bit of space to put your other pieces together. The next step of putting this dome drive together is to take this mounting part and take one of your bearings and you're going to put two, you're, you're going to put actually all three of these bearings in this hole. Now if you're not careful, what you're going to see is when you look at this, there's one part of this piece that is a little bit deeper and you're able to put the bearing, slide the bearing all the way down into the hole. If you flip it over, you really don't have a lot of room and it's a very shallow cut right here. And that very shallow cut is not where you want to put these bearings. You want it in the deeper cut right there. And what I found was that these bearings fit really tight. Okay, when you try to fit it in, if it's, if it's um, uneven in any way, you can see that that's a little bit uneven, there's no way it's going to go down into the hole that you want. So what we want to do is make sure that we line it up very carefully, and once you get it flat, right in the right spot, it will easily slide down into its spot. And you want to put the first one and shove it all the way down into the hole. Then you take the second one and do the same thing. You got to make sure that it's sitting flat. If you don't have it sitting flat, it will not, like this one's not sitting flat very well. It will not go in there very well. So just take your time. Make sure that it sits flat. Make sure that it's nice and easy. And then once you got it where you want it, you should be able to push it down pretty easily. I was able to push that down pretty easily. And then the last one is the easiest one because it only fits about halfway down into the hole. And so you've got that right there, about halfway down in the hole. And this is now ready to mount onto your motor. So this piece right here, what, do you, what you want to make sure of is the side where you put all, the, all of the bearings is the side that faces up in relationship to the motor. You don't want to put the bearing side down on the motor because... It's just the wrong way to do it. And the bearing would be hitting this part of your motor and you don't want that. So make sure that the bearings are facing up and then this will slide right down into place and the holes line up perfectly. It's very, very nice. Now in that case, one of my bearings didn't fit, kind of came off, so I just shoved it right back down where it's supposed to go and there's the bearing. The next piece that we're going to mount on here is the part that actually mounts to your um, mounts to your frame. Now again what you'll see is that on one side of this there's a little bit of a cutout so that the top of this bearing fits inside that little cutout. On the other side it's flat and there's no cutout. So when you put this on here you want to make sure that the holes line up and you want to make sure that that cutout fits on the bearing. So everything right there is exactly the way that we need it. <clears throat> um, notice too that the mounting arms that will eventually go onto your frame, those are sticking out on the side where the motor, uh, where, where, they're on the side that's closer to the motor. They're not turned around this way, sticking out that way away from the motor. So they're going to mount just like this. And now we can use these longer bolts that came in your package, uh, your hardware package, 
and they will slide right into place when everything is lined up. And what I would recommend is go ahead and slide all four of them in. That'll help keep things in the right spots. And then once you get them in the right spots, I'm just going to use my electric screwdriver and screw them down. And what I've noticed is that I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going, to, I'm going to get them started, and then when they get close, I'm going to change to my Allen wrench and tighten them down that way. Switch to my Allen wrench, tighten them down. And you don't need to see me do this, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward in the video. All right, so now that we've got everything mounted, I just want to show you a little bit, give you an idea of how everything looks. If we start at the bottom here, what you're going to be able to see is that these bolts that we put in on the top side, they stick out on the bottom side a little bit less than a centimeter and that's fine. It holds everything together nice and tight. If you've got everything together nice and tight this is going to be sticking out a little ways. Um, <clears throat> also just want to give you an idea just by holding this in different places so that you can see in addition to the pictures that were put on the uh, thread um, the pictures are just very nice pictures that Chris has put together and put on there. In fact I used the pictures to pretty much guide myself through my own tutorial and then uh, put this one together as well. So you can see how everything fits together. There is a little bit of a notch right here um, that you can see. That if everything's put together right you'll have a little notch in that spot where you can see inside there and see that bolt. Now this is not quite ready to be mounted in your dome yet. Um, what you'll find is now that we've sanded down the shaft this wheel will slide right on and it slides on without any issues and when you're ready to, to uh, put this on your frame um, the two little bolts use an allen wrench right there that'll tighten the wheel and when this whole thing turns it, it holds really tight now when it goes when you mount this to your frame this will be mounted to the bottom of your frame underneath of your rockler bearing and the frame will be sitting right here on top of this flat part of the dome drive so you'll have the dome drive, then you'll have the frame, and then you'll have the wheel that's on top of the frame itself. Okay, the wheel will be above the frame. And since this is adjustable, you'll be able to adjust the height. And once you get it in the right height, this doesn't have to sit flat on the frame. Once you get this adjusted to the right height, it'll hold nice and tight and turn everything the way that it needs to turn. Now what you'll notice is you still have an inch and a half or two inches of the shaft sticking up out of the wheel. That's going to need to be cut off. You're going to have to cut that off and then I would recommend grinding it down flat with the rest of this wheel so that everything is nice and smooth. You're going to have your dome spinning and you don't want this shaft sticking up out of your um, out of your frame as the dome spins. Thing in, things inside your dome may hit this shaft so you're going to have to cut that off. Make sure that you don't cut too much off uh, at the beginning it's always e easier to cut too little off and then go a little bit further and grind it down to where you want it as opposed to cutting off too much. So make sure that you measure the right height and everything so that you're going to have your wheel in the right spot. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful and um, this is uh, something that uh, will be a, a great piece for people moving forward that get this for uh, as a dome drive.